right, so to transfer the website, um, it's like a website migration. You know, I'll go into that, into the website they set up, log in with the username and password. And then what I'll do is I'll go to the actual website here. Uh, let me log in. And I'm going to download a plugin called All-in-One Migration. Like that. Install it. All right, so once you've downloaded it, uh, go to Export export to file and then you know it, it'll just load and let you know once it's ready to export all right so that's how it looks it usually takes a few minutes if the website is really big it could take longer up to an hour um, but once you see that just click on it and then you know save it somewhere I'll just save it like that. And then I'll go into the website where, you know, where it's going to be migrated to. And I'll download the same plugin, all in one migration. And I've noticed that these managed WordPress websites are usually really slow. So, you know, just clicking the add new button, it's gonna take a little bit longer than usual. Activate, and then, I don't know if you remember, but it said it was 66 megabytes. So I think there is a limit, yeah. So if it's over a hundred megabytes, megabytes what you would do is you go to add new upload plugin and you would i have it here on the dropbox folder you would go into yeah just plugins and you would add the unlimited extension uh you know you can just drag and drop it or you know choose file and then choose the file from here and what that would do is instead of telling you 100 megabytes, it would just say unlimited. So the website can be however big. Uh, but in this case, you know, you saw it was only 66 megabytes, so I don't need the extension. And to save a little bit of time, uh, on the disk, huh. I think that does have something to do with the hosting of it uh, but you know this is not even a live website right so i'm just going to click i have enough space and you know of course that'll take a few minutes as well okay so now uh you're gonna see this when it's ready to move forward so just click on proceed and you will need to get your password from you know the website you're migrating from because it'll delete all the information on this website. So this will take a uh, just a few minutes. All right, so now it's done. And it gives you these options, uh, review the plugin. We'll just need to do this one. So click on finish. When you reload the page, it'll ask you to log in or update. I think it was, yep. Cool. So 
one important thing to do is to when you use this plugin and you import a website you go over to settings go to permalinks and just go ahead to the bottom and just click on save changes you don't need to do anything but you just need to do that twice i forgot exactly how that was but it has to do something with the database and refreshing it or something like that but you know just make sure to click on that twice uh and then the website will be fine then uh, now, um, you know, let's uh, let's view the website. Make sure it, it's good. Uh, and then, of course, this one will change because it's not the same domain. But once the website goes live, you'll be able to see it again. Just because this is depend dependent on the domain where it's on.